Hey everybody, I'm Keychain. Today I wanted to talk about the new Ladybug events in the Ants Underground Kingdom. So I think these events are really fun so far, uh, especially the Ladybug's Adventure, and we'll cover that in a minute too. Um, but first I want to talk about the flying um, wind event, or flying in wind. So this is a matching game. Now, the thing about this is you get for free a couple amount or a couple of these um, dandelions every day for free and then you can purchase more if you want so each time you flip a leaf it costs dandelion uh, now one thing you should do for this is you should absolutely cheat now what do I mean by that get a grid get a piece of paper out and make a, a four by five grid and each time you flip a leaf write down what was under it so that you can maximize your leaf flips. So by doing that, you're not wasting any matches by forgetting things and mixing up. Um, it makes it systematic so that you can maximize your points if you're doing this as a free-to-play player and you're not spending for this. Now, the other piece about this is, um, I'll go in here real quick. Basically, I'm, I'm not gonna read all this, but as you match, you gain points, and then after you complete a page, you're going to be given additional rewards. So looking at the rewards in here, when you finish, there's a chance that you get one of these packs. You get a normal pack, which is some resources. You can gain a rare prize pool pack, which gives you insect shells, um, creature remains, and some honeydew. And then there's a chance of this extraordinary prize where you gain um, materials for leveling up your gems and cells, uh, etc. Now the other piece is there's ranking rewards in here for the people who are going all out for this for a frame, an orange cell, um, you know, fluids, genetics, germs, all the stuff that you need to gain stats. And then the clear reward, so when you clear all of the leaves, you get 70 matching points, fixed reward, but then there's a point zero 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 five chance that you unlock a seven star stag beetle insect, um, or this mighty tiger um, castle skin, or this new proata ant, which I haven't looked at yet, but new ants are probably like any other game like this, pretty overpowered for the most part. So. You know, I haven't looked at this one specifically, but I'm guessing he's pretty good. It's a ranged guardian unit, which is interesting. So he's good at leading guardian ants, but him or they are also good at um, long distance combat. So I'm guessing you put this on the back or middle line with guardian ants. I, I don't fully understand how that works yet. I still have to get into that system. So here's all of that stuff. If you were going to buy these, you can buy some for gems um, or diamonds. So you could buy some extra dandelions with diamonds. Um, you can get five for a dollar, 18 for five dollars, etc. So if you were going to do this and you're going to go for it, but maybe only a small amount, um, patience is key here. So buying the one dollar pack every day is going to net you more dandelions for your money versus spending it all in one day and trying to you know get on those leaderboards. So Figure out what you're going to spend, how you're going to spend, if you are going to do it, and then go from there. Okay, now the other one that's super fun is this Ladybug's Adventure. So, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played or seen the game Flappy Bird, but that's kind of what this is. And there's a leaderboard for distance, for how far you can get. So there's leaderboard rewards. My Kingdom 710 seems to be the, the, the top. And I don't know if that's max. Or if that's coincidence that they both happened to hit that exact same number. Um, I haven't gotten there yet, so we'll see. I've only reached 540 meters, so I'm in rank 296. So I'm definitely not very good at this. Now, the thing about this one, uh, it goes for... It's up for eight days, but only the first five days of the event are when you can play. Now, the other piece about this is you gain one of these staminas or one of these... Um, I don't know what the little bug is called, but you gain one stamina for this every hour and you can store 12. You started with 12 when the event started and the event goes for five days. So 
five days is 120 hours. So there's a chance to do 132 runs of this for free. Okay. Now looking at these rewards, there's some pretty decent stuff in here. I've heard of it bought one of these, um, the primary or the tertiary eggs. So I'm going to buy the next two as I do this event. There's spores, creature remains, um, cell fluid, genetic factors, and germ mediums, and then some resources. I didn't do the math on exactly how much you need to proceed or to max out this store, but if you get a decent kind of medium ground score, you're getting like 100 points a run. So at 132 runs, if you maximize and you're getting 100 points a run, you're going to get 13,200 points, which is enough to buy a lot of things in here. You'd be able to buy the eggs and just about fully buy out one of these since you can buy 500 of them, um, depending on which one you want to max. Or you could do the spores. 10 spores for 350. I don't know if that's worth it because personally, I still need spores, but I've seen videos from other people where they've just got tens of thousands of spores saved because once you get to a certain point in the game, you don't really need them anymore. Um, so I don't know if I'd invest in those, but the stuff to increase your stats, uh, the cell fluids and the germ mediums and the genetic factors, that's always going to be a good buy. So, okay. Now let me actually show the event, which is fun. We'll do one run of these, uh, and I'll kind of show you how I do. Um, but you just tap the screen and you keep the, the ladybug going. Um, so the best way to do this, what I've found, is just to figure out what your tapping cadence is to stay in a medium flight plan, and then you can adjust that to go up and down. But really, you just gotta stay afloat and kind of keep it, keep it level, okay? And I think, you know, I'm not sure, and it might be finger fatigue, or whatnot, but I swear as you get closer to the end, the the tapping becomes more sensitive. So like your ladybug becomes um, stronger or heavier or whatever, but it seems like you bounce more up and down with the same taps as you get farther along. Now the other thing that happens as you go is the uh, the gaps in between the top and the bottom shrink. So it gets harder to stay in the middle of them. And that's my problem is I, uh, I still haven't quite got it down for when we get to the end. So I do pretty decent up into the 400s most of the time. And then from there is when I usually fail. And my highest, okay, so I failed before 400, probably because I'm talking through this. But even at 400, just under 400, I got 139 points. So that would mean that, that the average would be even higher. So say this was my average run uh, and that I was going to get a hundred and say, say 135 points per run. And I did all of my runs times 132. So 135 times 132 equals 17,820 points, okay? It's a lot of rewards for free. Uh, you just gotta invest the time. And if you're not into this, but you still wanna spend your stuff, another way that you can maximize this or gain points is let your kid play. Um, let one of your friends try. Let your significant other try. Let somebody else try it. You know, you can do a few. Let them try a few. Um, maybe they'll be really good at it and get you good rewards. Maybe they won't. And, you know, it doesn't really matter. If, if you're not going to do all of these runs and maximize, it doesn't matter if you do them all. Uh, it doesn't matter if you maximize your points if you really don't care for this. So have fun with it. Let somebody else try, you know, do your thing. But you get a pretty decent amount of points. And you get points for every single run. So it's definitely worth it. Um, it and if you want to buy even more, for five dollars, you can get twelve more attempts. So, you know, if you really, really want to go for this, or at the end you're really close to something, you know, look at that. So the other thing you could decide is for five dollars for twelve runs, look at your average score and decide how many of the cell fluids and things you can get for five dollars, and then compare it to a pack. 
So if I come in here and I look at a germ pack, for example, for a dollar, I can get a hundred of these. So for five dollars, I'd be able to get 500 of these germ medium ones. So for it to be worth it, for me to buy it from the ladybug, um, I'd have to be getting, so let's see, to get 500 of these would be a thousand points. So you'd have to be, it'd be worth it if you were averaging what I am. Like if you're getting around the 400 range uh, and you're getting 135 points a run, then for 12 runs, you'd be getting like 15,000 points, which would be roughly 150 of these, a little bit less. So it'd probably be worth it if you're getting a good score or if you're getting a really good score, it becomes even more worth it. If your scores aren't that great uh, on average, then it might not be worth it to purchase um, extra chrysalis to, to proceed. But Okay, uh, I think that's it for this event. I'm going to do my normal stuff. Um, VIP stores here, so I'll cover that real quick. I don't know if this is a good deal or not to buy these for 12,500 gems, but it just seems it seems so expensive to me. Um, maybe later on in the game, I find out that that's an amazing deal, but right now it just seems really expensive. Everything in this store just seems super expensive, um, and I don't find it super valuable. Um, so for me, this store is bad. Uh, maybe you guys know better than I do. Um, and maybe gems become more prevalent later in the game. But right now, I'm using all my gems for teleports, advanced teleports, random teleports, etc. And shields. Um, just having all of the normal game stuff. This one is a good deal. Because if I run out of advanced teleports, I have to spend 2,000 gems to teleport. So I'll buy that. And right now, I'm low on random teleports. So I'll buy this one because it directly saves me gems because they're on sale. Now, I, I just don't know about the rest of this stuff. But the other thing that I've been buying every day, because I think it's a fantastic deal, and I could be wrong, is this all-in-one pack. So the thing about this one is for $5, you get all three of these packs. So you get all these speed-ups, you get all of the, the resources in here, and then you get this Banshee Panda Fragment chest, and all of the resources that come with that. So I think this is a fantastic deal to get all three of these for the price of one. Um, that's just me, but other people I've talked to thought it was a good deal too. Now I could be wrong on this as well because I'm new and trying to figure out what the best deals are and what's good to spend your money on, but I, I like this deal. So, you know, that's just me. Okay, um, I think that's it for this video. Um, I will probably either be going live or doing a video on our first um, Strongest War Zone, which is two days from now. So would that be Sunday evening? Ugh, that's terrible timing. Like, why would this be on a Sunday night? Um, I don't know, and I don't know how long this goes. So one round. Okay, so we'll have one round of seven-day competitions um okay so it's this isn't like a fight for the tree or whatever i don't know when that one is i'm guessing that's this so war of the kings i'll probably go for this i'll do a video for this and figure out how the war of the kings works and um maybe i'll go live for it i'll try and figure out how and when that works but strongest war zone i'll do some quests or some some videos on this once i figure out how to even do stuff in there because right now I have absolutely no idea how to do it. Um, but yeah, okay. I think that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.